What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a scrolling background in Scratch 3.0. So let's get started. All right guys, the first thing you want to do is delete your Scratch Cat, paint a new sprite, zoom in, and make a little cube. Now you can make this whatever color and size you want, doesn't matter, we'll fix it later. Next thing you want to do is paint another sprite, convert to bitmap mode, and make the background whatever color you want. So for example, I'll just do that. Now let's get into the coding. Alright, for the first thing to code, you're going to make a new variable, call this one scroll x, and then make another one called scroll y. Next, go to events, one green flag clicked, looks, set size to 500, looks, show, go to control, forever, go to motion, go to set x to and set y to. Next, go to variables, set y to scroll y. Set X to scroll X, put that in the forever loop, and that's our first line of code. Now let's make the second. So for the second line of code, you want to go to events, one green flag clicked, go to control, forever, grab four if then blocks, then go into sensing, grab four key press blocks, and change these to all arrow keys. So up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, and left arrow. Next, drag these all into the F them blocks, then drag this into the forever loop. Next thing you want to do is go to change and grab four of these blocks. Then you want to do change scroll X by negative two. Then you want to do change scroll X by two. Then you want to do change scroll Y by two. And then you want to do change scroll Y by negative two. What you want to do is you want to put the change scroll Y by negative two in the up arrow change scroll y by 2 in the down arrow, change scroll x by minus 2 in right arrow, and change scroll x by 2 in the left arrow. Now let's get onto coding the player. First thing you want to do is go to events, one green flag clicked, looks, show, go to front layer, variables, set, change this to scroll x to 0, set, scroll y to zero put that on there and then we're done with the player sprite i actually just forgot one thing of code go to motion go do x zero y zero and just throw that on the bottom and then we're done with the player sprite now you want to paint a new sprite go to the square tool make the fill transparent and make the outline a good outline i would say at least 20 let's see how big that is next what you want to do is you want to draw your square or your border on the outside of these lines and for example, this border lo looks kind of thin, so I'm going to up the outline to about 35. Next, what I want to do is I want to make sure the line is inside of this border right here. So I'm going to adjust that right now. Now that I have that done, I'm going to go to code, events, one green flag clicked, looks, show, go to front layer, and go to motion, go to X, zero, Y, zero. And we're done with the scrolling background. And now to test the actual game, make sure to go to your backdrop sprite, your background sprite, go to costumes, and paint squares on the edges. So let's see if it works, and let's see if we can get to the squares and paint one in the middle, just like that. Make sure to test your game by going to all the squares around the edges. Now, if you guys want to adjust the speed or do anything, you can definitely do that. Also, if you want to make a top-down scroller game or a RPG game, I will have a tutorial for that coming out soon, so make sure to subscribe. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.